Good morning, everybody. I wanted to show you all something. Uh, our tomatoes are about pooped out. Uh, the spider mites got to them. This is what happens when the uh, spider mites get them. Very hard to control spider mite without really, really harsh chemicals. Uh, but I'll cut them back and then they'll come back in the fall, hopefully. Now, you see those butterflies? I don't know if you can see them. They're the Gulf Coast Fritillaria, or Fritalia, however you want to. And the passion flower, uh, you can see it right there. Uh, it's on the passion flower. Uh, the passion flower vine is the host plant for it. So they are literally, uh, at any given time, there's dozens or there's hundreds of them. I could. Uh, yeah, well, you know where it's at so I can show it to the people? Yeah, um, well anyway, they uh, lay their eggs and then the caterpillars will eat the plant to the ground and then it, that's why it won't freeze and it's a host plant. It's taken Angie about three three years to establish this one. Now the caterpillars are pretty funky looking. Here it is. There's a caterpillar. And that's a little bitty one. That's a, yeah, you see it right there. It won't focus real good, but it's real spiny and they um, they eat like crazy they'll get big really big and really freaky looking but they uh have a symbiotic relationship with the plant right they uh eat the plant to the ground and then next year the plant comes back you see they're all real happy that they have plenty so they're mating and then they are laying their eggs on the on the plant and that's the host butterfly right there i hope it lands Butterflies, I can never understand how they navigate because they're so erratic in their in their flying. But I was hoping that that one would land so you could see it. You see another one came over. There it is. It looks like a monarch, but it's not a monarch, okay? Uh, anyway, uh, our garden is doing good. Of course, you have some more. And, and they're everywhere. I'm moving the camera too fast. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll leave you with a picture of a of a passion flower. There you go. Beautiful, really uh, weird-looking uh, flower with a very, very strong fragrance at night. And not to mention that um, passion flower tea is uh, a sedative and hallucinogenic. Uh, trust me on that one. Okay.